Happy November, guys. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did just release a new design on my merch shop. Uh, unfortunately, there's no coupon code for this month, but uh, keep an eye out around Christmas. Uh, it is the Eat Your Face design. We actually designed it in October because I thought that November came before October for some fucking reason. Uh, but I've been waiting to release it. It's a really cool design. It was a lot of fun to work on. Uh, and hey, wear it to your Thanksgiving get together. But it is available in the merch shop now. Hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you at the end of it. Imagine a killer that for the first part of the trial, you hunt survivors and they got to complete an objective. And after that's over, depending on the performance, both killer and survivor get some buffs. I think, I think that the game, I think that generators need more. Like, I'd like to see something like repairing like a fuse box, then you have to repair the generator. But I also think that if you do something like that, you'd have to nerf killers across the board. And that's just really difficult to implement. Because, like, the thing is, is, like, the current dynamic, the current dynamic with, with DVD is... The the, lo the the faster the game's over, the better for the survivors. The longer the game lasts, the better for the killer. So if you start implementing natural slowdown into the generator repair, then it's gonna be just it's just gonna be a, a straight buff for killers across the board. And I'm not saying that that's not needed. I just know that I just know how this community is. What's that, Hellraiser? You know, honestly, chat, honestly, and they would have to rework so many perks that they did this. I think the entire system needs an overhaul. I think, I think, I, I genuinely believe the entire system needs an overhaul. Like instead of, like, you could have generators, you can have them, but t make them take like 30 seconds. But you have to do like a bunch of shit to complete them, right? You have to go find gas cans and repair fuse boxes. Maybe you have to like go collect tools and shit like that. That would be a fuck. That would be amazing. That would be great. Like an actual fucking survivor. Make it so that survivors need to fuel the gens with a gas can. You could limit the cans to one at a time. If a survivor gets hit, they drop the can they are carrying, but the killer can't camp it despawns yeah something like that like i just i think that if there was more i think that if there was just more in it i think that if there's just more in it then it would be great you know what i mean it's just like i feel i just feel like the gameplay loop i feel like the gameplay loop is so boring on the survivor side and that's why people that's why that's why people get like 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 i was i was talking about this earlier right i hate i fucking hate when survivor mains are like, I can't stand killers that do three gens. I just want to do fun chases. Because the second you go to do a fun chase, you lose two gens. And it's basically a bunch of survivor players going, I wish the killers would just chase me so that my team could finish generators and I can win every game for free. Like there's a distinct reason that killers don't go on fucking 40 minute chases with you. It's not that they don't want to, quote, have fun chasing you. A lot of killer people, killer mains I've talked to have stated multiple times they want to have fun. They want to have fun chasing you. They want to have fun, you know, playing the fucking game and using their power in new and creative ways. But they can't do that. They get to chase you for 10 seconds. And if it looks like they're not going to catch you, they got to go somewhere else. They got to go find another gen or find a, find a fucking another survivor or something like that. Because out, when, once you get to, once you get to, um, once you, once you chase a survivor for longer than 10 seconds or longer than this or, you know, whatever, then it becomes a fucking, it becomes a big issue because you lose gen so fast. I was, it was happening earlier when I was playing blight. I kept having to abandon chases that I wasn't close to finishing because if I didn't, then people would just, that, you know, so like I'm chasing a nay, right? Let's say I'm chasing a nay on this side. And I fucking, and I, and I push that chase just a couple seconds too far. By the time I get to the other side where her team is, Jin's repaired. And then I'm, I'm on that side with a Jin that's finished. I can't find who was just there. So by the time I get to another survivor, another generator's finished. And games are ending in fucking seven... Six, uh, six, seven minutes. 
And it's just not fun for the killer. But all oh, the survivors are having fun. I sure they, I'm sure they are. I feel a big problem that Jin slowdown versus Jin rush is not balanced. A big problem is that when you only have one objective for the survivors to complete, that's just gonna be the only thing they're doing, right? You have, they have one objective, generators. That's it. Technically, they're not supposed to be taking chases. Technically, you're supposed to be hiding from the killer. Although that's not entirely true either because then you get punished in the emblem system, but I, I, I digress. The point is, is that generally speaking, because there's only one objective for the survivors to do, they're gonna do that objective really fast. I think it was Emperor who came in one day and he was like, I think Jin regression and Jin, I think Jin slowdown and Jin speed perks all need to be taken out of the game. And it's like the only way they could do that feasibly is if they added more stuff. If they add it, like if they, like I said, listen, like think about this chat. Let's say they increase the number of generators to be repaired from say five to seven. And then they put like 10 generators on the maps, right? Every single generator is takes 30 seconds to finish, but you have to get supplies to repair it. You don't get to just walk up to a generator and start fiddling with the dicky doos and pulling on random shit. No, you have to go find wiring, gas, electrical boxes, you have to find screws and knobs and things like that. And that's how you repair the generators by finding these things throughout the maps. They'd have to make a lot, they'd have to make some of the maps a lot bigger, don't get me wrong. But the point is, is that something like that where the survivors have to actually traverse the map and find things to repair the generators with, you know, or like generators don't actually take a time limit. They take supplies. So you walk up to a generator and it says um, two gas cans, four electrical wires, three knobs, six gears. So you've got to walk around the map finding these objects. And then when you find them, you bring them to the generators. And once survivors have brought everything to the generators, that generator is repaired. You finish seven of those generators, the exit gates are powered. And then you can go over and open the exit gates and leave, right? I know the counterbalancing to this means the map should definitely be bigger and there probably would need to be some sort of rebalancing about killers. And at that point, it's it, at this point, it's a completely different game, but that's the only way we're going to fix the gen rush versus gen slowdown meta. It's never going away because as long as there is, there's a way to speed up the progress of generators. And as long as the only objective for survivors is generators, generators are gonna go fast. They're gonna go way faster. And, and, and continuously increasing the time it takes to repair the fucking things doesn't solve the problem. On the flip side, if this system I'm talking about is implemented, then killers actually get a big buff because now survivors are everywhere and you're, the survivors are constantly having to get their objective done. My thought process is that every survivor has an inventory. So when they collect items, they can only collect like say like four or five at a time or something like that. But they don't lose that inventory when they get hit or hooked or whatever. But at the same time, maybe we would have to increase the hook states since the survivors have more shit they gotta do more shit they gotta find, you increase the hook states from three to five or something like that. Three to four, I don't know, one of those, right? Somebody who's way better at balancing than me could probably figure that out. But the point is, is that that would be more interactive, it would be more fun, you'd have more stuff to do, more stuff to find, chases would actually be able to be taken, you know what I mean? You have a limited inventory, so you can't just have one survivor running around the map, picking up everything that's needed, and then running from generator to generator and just depositing shit, you know? And then every map could have different stuff, or every generator could have different requirements. So you don't have, sur you don't have survivors, like one survivor's collecting only gas cans and one survivor's collecting only wiring. Some generators may, only ha may already have... Um, some generators may only have fucking, you know, oh, my brain. Some generators may only have a need for wires or something like that, or, or they already have gas in them, 
you know? Uh, on certain maps, there may be, the generators may need different tools and objects. Think about Devour with your idea about the hook states. I mean, increase the number of tokens you need to instantly kill someone. That's a pretty easy fix. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but that's, gen like, I genuinely believe, chat, I genuinely believe that if they were ever to make a Dead by Daylight 2, I don't think they will. They've already said they have no interest in it. And I don't think it's necessary. But if they were ever to do it, they would need to. In they would need to change the gameplay loop. They would need to change it completely, and it would be probably one of the best fucking things ever. It would be so fun, you know, because you're not just sitting there. Ding! Hit the skill check. Ding! Hit the skill check. Oh, terror radius, let me get off, walk over here. You know, it wouldn't be as boring on the survivor side. And it would actually give killers time to fucking try and get you. And it would be fun. It would be interesting. But that's my thoughts on the entire thing. Like, that's how we fix the problem. And that's the video, guys. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. This was kind of like a random discussion that just popped up on stream. Uh, and I just decided that it would be a cool video to post. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, but as always, a special thank you to my channel members, The Cannibal Main, Ryan Gesture, Alex Balix, Tabasco Raccoon, Spirit Upgrades, and Nuclear Bomb for their additional support. If you want to know how to get thank yous at the end of every single video, please make sure that you click that join button down below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow.